Welcome to my fazenda. Come on, boy. Fazenda is farm in Portuguese, and I'm the fazendeiro, I'm the farmer. When you enter this place, you're entering a working farm. Anybody who comes here will be eating beautiful organic produce farm to table. This is an amazing place to come and be creative. It's a part of life that unfortunately we don't get enough of. And uh, yeah, this is my life. Come join me and I'll show you around. We're in the entryway of the main house. This piano I bought probably about 25 years ago. It's a Kawai plexiglass piano that used to belong to Ingrid Bergman, actually. This painting was just painted by my godson, Noah Becker, who is uh, an artist. He's a musician and a painter. And uh, he came down here for a couple of weeks and actually did the paintings here in the room, which was really beautiful. So we're entering the master bedroom now, and this is a picture of my grandfather, Albert Roker, taken by Reuven Afanador. He's a lovely human being and a brilliant photographer uh, that was taken in the Bahamas back when I was recording the circus album. This is the master bedroom. It's a suite, living room, and a bedroom. This bed is made by Vladimir Kagan from the late 60s. It's got some wear to it, but that's part of the charm, I feel. This copper tub I had made for the room. You have to have a tub in your room. <laughs> My life centers around playing, so I always want to be able to pick up an instrument and play. So this is an old Fender Bassman and dual Showman Reverb, two of my favorite amps, one of my Gibson Les Pauls, made from the custom shop. I met this artist named Chris Wyrick, who works out of Los Angeles. So he photographed these banana leaves and trees and then projected them onto the walls and then painted them, which I think are really beautiful and graphic and give the room a lot of depth. I obviously love incorporating as much Brazilian design as I can. I just found these beautiful wood chairs by Zanini that I think are absolutely stunning. My band is here right now, so we have a full house, and uh, we're all living here. We rehearse here, we eat meals together, which is really beautiful. I grew up having meals with my family, and um, it's something that we don't do so much today, sit and talk and put our phones away. Uh, we have no cell service here, so that's really good. That's a photograph that I took several years ago. Uh, it's actually of my cousin Janelle from the Bahamas. It's one of my favorite pieces. I love the soul in her eyes. So this is the living room where we hang out at night, after we have dinner, listen to music, watch films. And the featured piece here is this red velvet chair uh, that belonged to Andy Warhol. This is my beautiful mother, Roxy Roker, and in each place that I live, I honor her. I would not be here, I would not have the life that I have without being blessed by this woman. So she's present in every home. Come on, the kitchen. Alex, Arnechi. This is Alex and Anechi who make beautiful food for us, filled with love. As you can see, there's some of the stuff from the farm that we grow here. Um, a lot of it's been eaten. We usually have a big mound of uh, fruits and vegetables here. Craig Ross, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the guest house where the band has stayed on this trip while we were rehearsing. Chris has been in here painting this mural. He's just finishing it now. This is fresh. He's making the place more beautiful. I mean, the nice thing about this place is it's like one big open loft, the living room and the kitchen, and you've got four bedrooms in here, two on each side on two different wings. This is my third trip, so I think... You came with me the first the time, The first time, right? right? When I came to look at it, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've been here a few times, it's, and it, it's always magical. Did Lenny ask you, should you buy it or should you not? Really probably, well. probably. <laughs> I think everybody thought I was crazy. Yeah. But I think this trip has... It's kind of cemented. ...has it. proven that this was uh, 
the right thing to do. Yeah. Hola, Goya. So beyond the pool, we have a soccer field. There's a full gym in that building and a therapy room for massages and so forth. This is the barbecue, which is essential for any Brazilian, depending on what you're into. We can uh, barbecue vegetables. When I came here, I, I mean, I, I didn't know anything, but that's the beauty in life sometimes. You go for something that you didn't expect and I just want to share this with folks that are interested in experiencing this kind of thing, to take an adventure. Thanks for coming to visit. I hope you had a beautiful time. Ciao. Come on.